Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and now we're gonna do problem 4.37, okay? It says determine the moment of force F about point O, so this point over here, if F has a magnitude of 800 newtons, so we got 800 newtons force in here, and they're giving us the direction angle, so alpha is 60 degrees, beta is 120 degrees, and gamma is actually 45 degrees. So Basically, with these angles, we can decompose our force F. So F in Cartesian vectors is going to be, it's going to be, so for my I direction, for my, yeah, I direction or X direction, it's going to be 800 multiplied by the cosine of 60 degrees. So we got 800 multiplied by the cosine of 60 degrees, and this gives me 400 newtons in the X direction, so 400 newtons in the I direction. For my Y direction, I'm gonna have 120, so I've got 800 cosine of 120 degrees. This gives me negative 400 in the J direction, and in the Z direction, it's going to be 800 cosine of 45 degrees and it will give me 566 in the z direction and all these guys are new, okay? So if we want to find a moment about a point O, so what we need to do is that moment is going to be about round O is going to be equal to a unit vector, in this case the unit vector OB which is going to be the distance because of the unit vector OB is going to be the distance cross product my force because usually in a scalar we do distance times force but in vectors what we need to do is that we need to multiply the vector OB uh, cross product my force vector okay so if we want to do that, we need to find the vector OB. So what is the vector OB? So if we find the vector OB, we will need to do B minus O, okay? So O is the origin. So basically everything is going to be assumed by B. So in the X direction, we have 0 0.4. So we got 0 0.4 in the X direction. In the y direction, we got 0 0.5 meters. And in the z direction, we got negative 0 0.3 meters. Okay, so basically going down. So we found our vector OB, and we have our force in Cartesian vector. So the way that we do a moment about O is going to be equal to, so we drop this in order to do our cross product, we have the i direction, we got the j direction, and we have the k direction. So the order is important. It's going to be vector OB, so the vector of distance, cross product of F. So first I need to do I need to put the units for my distance vector, so 0 0.4, 0 0.5 in the j direction, and negative 0.3 in the k direction. And at the last row, we put the ones for my forces, which is 400 for my i direction, negative 400 for my j direction, and positive 566 for my k direction. Okay? Now, how do we do this? So, the way that we do this is that I'm gonna Erase this guy, we already have it over here, we don't need it. So we had that the moment around point O is going to be equal to. So we can we ignore all the i column and all the i row like this, and we're gonna multiply 0 0.5 multiplied by 566. So we do 0 0.5 multiplied by 566 minus, so we're ignoring these two guys, we have 
negative 400 multiplied by negative 0 0.3 so negative 0 0.3 multiplied by negative 400 and all this will give me the amount of moment around my point O. Then we do minus and we do the same for my J column. So basically my J column and row. So we hide the J row and the J column and then we multiply 0 0.4 multiplied by 566 and 66 so 0 0.4 multiplied by 566 minus 400 multiplied by negative 0 0.3 so we got 400 multiplied by negative 0 0.3 okay and this will give me the moment around my j direction and then we do plus and we do the same way ignore our first row and our third column and we do 0 0.4 multiplied by a negative 400 so 0 0.4 multiplied by negative 400 minus 400 multiplied by 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 multiplied by 400 okay and this will give me the amount a moment in the k direction so if we do this let's erase this on top in order to give me some space we got that moment 12.0 we have so if we multiply 0 0.5 multiplied by 566 so 0.5 multiplied by 566 that gives me 283 so I got 283 minus and then I have 0 0.3 multiplied by 400 minus times minus gives me a positive and so with a minus outside it's still a negative so 120 in the i direction so 283 minus 120 all this in the i direction then we do minus and then we do 0 0.4 multiplied by 566 that gives me 226.4 minus so this guy minus what we have in here so 400 multiplied by negative 0 0.3 it's a negative 120 so we add this guy up because minus and minus give me positive this is in the j direction plus and then we have 0 0.4 multiplied by negative 400 gives me negative 160 minus my 0 0.5 multiplied by 400 which gives me 200 in the k direction okay and if we simplify this out we got 283 minus 120 that gives me 163 positive in the i direction then we will have minus 346.4 in the j direction and then we have minus 360 in the k direction okay and this is the moment that my force f is doing around my point Oh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.